too. Yesterday, we brought you some startling numbers on Social Security from the AP. About 56 million people now collect benefits, and 20 million of them, that's 36%, of all the people on Social Security, they're not retired workers. They are the disabled or the family members of deceased retired workers. Now consider this. 1.8 million people have been eliminated from the unemployment rolls in the past two years. But during exactly the same time, the number of people who became disabled and unable to work rose by 1.8 million. So 1.8 million no longer unemployed, 1.8 million now disabled. Joining the company is James Martin. He's with the 60 Plus Association. That's a conservative lobbying group. Jim, let's deal first of all. 36% of people getting Social Security are not retired workers. Does that surprise you? Oh, no, not really, uh, Stuart, because uh, there's been a, you know, it puts a huge financial strain on the system, obviously. But uh, something has to be done to reform the system. And so that's what I'd like to talk about this morning, reforming Social Security for future retirees. Look, current retirees are safe on the current system, but Social Security turns 77 years old next week, and for the first 75 years of the system, it worked quite well. But alarm bells should have gone off about two years ago when for the first time in the 77-year history, for the first time, the government had to borrow money to meet its obligations to current retirees. Again, in 2010, $49 billion they had to borrow. 2011, they had to borrow another $40 billion of dollars. Okay. It's time that responsible Democrats and Republicans alike work together to reform the system well, for future retirees. James, I think, I think almost everybody would agree with that. Now I want your reaction to the second statistic. 1.8 million people no longer unemployed but 1.8 million people now considered disabled. That is an astonishing statistic and speaks to the explosion of disability benefits within the Social Security system. Surely that too is unsustainable. Absolutely unsustainable. And look, the fact is, uh, back when it started again, you know, there was such an easy read to pay benefits out. I would like to call to your attention one person, a retired school teacher, from Vermont, Ida Mae Fuller. She was the first recipient of the first Social Security check. She got more out of her very first check than she ever paid in. The problem was she didn't, as someone put it, she did not conveniently die at around 65 like the actuarial table said we seniors were supposed to do. She lived to be 100 years old. That's what put the strain on the system. It's time that we got politics out of this. Let's look toward people like Dr. Jose Panera down in Chile. He came forth with a plan about 20 years ago. It's been adopted now by over three dozen countries around the globe, South America, Asia, Europe. Even socialist Sweden, Sweden is saying that we must allow some investment into, the, into a conservative mix of, and I start with bonds and stocks, not stocks and bonds, right. but okay. a conservative mix of those to allow a return on your investment. So you're saying, all right, got to get the market into the Social Security system. James Martin, thanks for being with us Absolutely. again. Absolutely. Come and see us again. We want to hear more about the long-term reform of the system. Got to do it. Thanks very much, James. Thank it's, you.